Okay, ladies and gents, first attempt at a video here. Thought I would share a trick of the trade that I found for mounting a uh, set of antlers and a skull cap uh, onto a piece of wood here. So ordered um, 10 pieces of this from uh, your favorite online retailer. I got 10 pieces for about $40. Took some uh, polyurethane, just spread it over the top, it's just so you can uh, keep that nice look to it. Uh, came sanded, ready to go. We decided we didn't want to stain it. Um, we also aren't plastering our deer because we like the look of the growth plates, um, seeing some of the sockets, things like that. So we decided we like this more natural look. So went and got some epoxy putty. Uh, what you do is when you pull this out, you just mix it together with your hands. Um, it says that there's a set time of 15 to 20 minutes and then it's uh, drillable, tappable, all that kind of good stuff within one hour. So then I took a couple uh, just small pieces of wood, cut it off, made sure it would fit inside of the skull cap like that. I did create a little notch there. And the reason is so I can put the putty along the inside and create almost like a little shelf to make sure that it's gonna adhere on the inside really well. Um, once I sized it up just like that, I will end up making sure that it lays flush to the backside. The idea is then you can go in through the backside of your mount, of your plaque, whatever you want to use, uh, with a screw and be able to screw into the wood. So you'll see, um, I just took that epoxy, shoved it down all in there to create a nice, um, you know, kind of set of, of ridges um, for that wood to sit on, just clamped it down. This is the, uh, the end result of one that I did about two hours ago. And you will see this thing is not going anywhere. It is, it is in there big time. So all I'm gonna do, like I said, is uh, go in from the backside and be able to create a nice, uh, a nice mount. Hopefully that helps you, help me.